Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I pray you're rejoicing along with me and that you're also glad in this day. I know you may have some opposition that you're up against. I know you may be facing some battles. I know you may be in a spiritual fight, but I don't want you to give up hope. In fact, I want you to be hopeful because God has given us the victory. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. But not only our faith, but God has given us spiritual victory because of the armor and the artillery that he's given us to fight these spiritual battles, these oppositions that we're up against. He's given us the weaponry to win the warfare. And so today is day number 26 as we're praying about spiritual warfare and we're in Ephesians chapter six in verse 18. And he says in Ephesians six and 18, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Amen. You know, one of the spiritual weapons that I believe we have that we oftentimes neglect is the ability and the commandment to pray for other people. That's right. I know you may be um, focused on your own fight. I know you may be preoccupied with your own op opposition, but there are other people who are facing battles as well. There are other people who are engaged in spiritual warfare as well. And so one of the things that we can do to gain the victory in the body of Christ, in the kingdom of God, is to pray for one another, to pray for other people. And so what the writer here in Ephesians tells us to do is when you put on your whole armor of God, go into prayer for somebody else, supplicate for someone else who may be going through a spiritual battle. So that's what we want to pray about today and know that if we're praying for someone else, God is praying for us and we will get the victory. Come on, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you and bless and praise you for just um, who you are, God, in our lives. You are our Lord. And you are the Lord of lords. You are our King, and you are the King of kings. You are supreme. You are holy. You are mighty. You're wonderful. You are awesome. And we thank you, Lord, that um, not only are you mighty, but that the weapons that you give us to fight with are mighty. They're mighty to the pulling down of strongholds, and they're awesome, Lord, because you give us the artillery and the armor to be able to stand against the wiles, the strategies, the plans of the enemy, and having done all that we know to do to stand. So once again today, Lord, we come before your presence, thanking you for your spiritual armor, the belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness, Lord, and the, the gospel of peace for our feet and the helmet of salvation, the shield of faith, and of course, Lord, the word of God, which is the the sword of the spirit. We thank you for these weapons, Lord. We thank you for this armor. We thank you for this artillery. But we also thank you, Lord, for the commandment to pray and to pray for other people. So Lord God, today, that even though we have our own battles and our own opposition and our own fights to fight, Lord, we turn our attention to those that are connected to us, those that are in family relationships with us in fellowship with us and friendship with us, those that are in our local churches and local assemblies and congregations, Lord. And so we just lift up others in our own lives. We lift up our loved ones, Lord. Whatever they may be going through, whatever they may be dealing with, whatever, whatever they may be battling, Lord, we come and stand in the gap for them. And we ask, Lord, that you would protect them and cover them with your spiritual armor, that you would help them to pull down strongholds through the mighty spiritual weapons that you've given to them. We pray and come against every demonic spirit that would try to wreak havoc in their lives to kill and to steal and to destroy what you are developing in their life. Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ over others' lives today. For those that are unsaved, Lord, that are outside of the ark of safety, that have never given their life to you for the forgiveness of their sin, they've never trusted in and believed in the death, burial, and the resurrection of Jesus. We pray today, Lord God, that someone would plant the gospel seed in their lives and into their minds and into their hearts. We pray that someone else, oh God, would come alongside of them and, and water that gospel seed, water the good news that Jesus Christ saves. And ultimately, God, we pray that you would come alongside those unsaved folks and give the increase, that they would open up their spiritual eyes and confess to you a hope in Christ, confess to you 
that they believe in the death, burial, and resurrection for the forgiveness of their sins and for the saving of their soul. Lord, we pray for those that are not connected to a church, a Bible teaching, Bible believing church. We pray God that they would uh, find a pastor and find a group of people that you would lead them to. And you would make that ministry attractive to them and that they would join that church and develop their spiritual gifts, discover their gifts and deploy their gifts for the edification of that local body of believers. Lord, we pray today that they would get involved in ministry and as they discovered and up their spiritual gift that their gift would make room for them not only in the church but in the community country even in the world oh god i pray that you would bless them and bless them indeed i from the evil one I pray your favor would be upon them and that, that you would help them to grow spiritually and physically in stature and favor with you and with other people. Lord, we just come and supplicate and, and, and intercede on their behalf. Whatever they may be facing, whatever they may be going through, you said one can put a thousand to flight, two can put 10,000 to flight. Lord, we just do better when we come together. So we stand united in prayer for both the unsaved and the unchurched and those that don't know their spiritual purpose. Lord, we also lift up those that are uh, walking in your purpose, Lord. We lift up pastors and preachers and teachers and prophets and evangelists, Lord. We lift up government officials and leaders in the community, Lord. We lift up leaders in our corporations, in our school systems, in our healthcare organizations, in different businesses and sectors around the world. We lift up those, Lord God, that are that are operating in small companies and large companies and small communities and large communities and small organizations and large organizations and everything in between. Lord, we ask that your hand of grace would rest upon them, that the work that they're doing for the Christ in the community, Lord, would be blessed and it would be fruitful in Jesus name. Lord, we thank you for the privilege of prayer. We thank you for the power of prayer and we thank you for partnership in prayer today. And we believe victory in the lives of your people. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, today was day number 27. It was day number 27. And as we were praying today, we prayed from Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, being watchful to this end, with all perseverance and supplication for all of the saints. I'm praying for you today. We'll be back tomorrow. Subscribe to the channel. Share the channel with your neighbor. Let them know we're praying about getting spiritual victories in spiritual warfare by using spiritual weapons. We'll be back tomorrow. I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.